Completing the new story mission and unlocking the new Dark Aether portal can seem tedious and overwhelming, but have no worries. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step and you won't believe how easy it can be. Let's get started. And of course, the first thing we need to do is get geared up. Before we go to the Dark Aether, we're going to need to go to this Act 4 story mission. So obviously upgrade your weapon and drink all of your perks that you want to bring in here. And this Act 4 story mission is going to be found within a threat level 2 area, so you really only need like an epic ether tool and triple pack a punch. You can save your legendary tool for the real dark ether. And for this run, I'm deciding to use this build of the P90 or the PDSW 90. It's built for tax stance, but it gets an insane amount of ammo when you pack a punch it. Now, I am on a fresh operator, so I don't have any containment levels, but if you do have some containment levels, it is going to be much easier for you to get geared up. As you're getting geared up, it is going to be very very important you get a durable gas mask for this Act 4 story mission, or at the very least have multiple regular gas masks. Now I hope by now most of you guys know how to run contracts to get geared up, so I'm going to keep this part really quick. Alright, so a lot of cargo delivery missions later, I have 22,000 points, which means I can go to tier 3, get some perks, and then we can get tier 3 pack a punch. And believe it or not, we're ready. You don't need anything too fancy, no casimirs, no like juggernaut suits or anything. Thing. Obviously you can if you want to, but you really don't need to. This one is a lot easier than that Dark Aether Worm that we fought in the first Axe Story mission. And we start it the same way. We go up to it, we have to confirm it on our tech map, and we are ready to go. Now if it's your first time in here, it's going to be pretty overwhelming, it's going to be kind of confusing, so don't worry too much. But once you know what you are doing, once you are going after these Dark Aether items, you do want to kind of speed it up a little bit. First things first, we're going to go in this building and save our mercenary friends this time. It's so weird having these guys as allies. But honestly, it's such a good plot twist. And now all you gotta do is enjoy the ride. And try to keep in mind where everything's at. We spawned in over there. There's the ship over here that we're gonna come back to eventually. And this part really is incredibly easy. The soldiers can and will die if they get overwhelmed by zombies, but you don't get anything like, you don't fail this if they die or anything. Now as you get to around here, you're gonna notice that we get EMP from something. Well, it's this thing over here and we have to go investigate it. You just come on over here, you interact with it, and it's going to be an electrified mimic. It's really easy, especially with tier 3 pack a punch. You can see we just defeated it in like one clip right there, one magazine. Then we're going to come up to this neutralizer part from the previous, or the Act 3 story mission, and then it's going to kind of swallow it up here. Here it is. Look at it go. And yep, pretty neat. This uh, There's also an ammo cache here, so if you want to refill your ammo, there it is. All right, now here here is where the gas masks come in. This is just a big old infested stronghold. So you want to come in here as quick as you can. Hopefully you got death perception by now and you can take a look at all of these cysts and try to take them all out as quick as you can. Now, luckily there are a couple of areas where you can refill your gas masks. For example, the route I like to run is I like to go through the center here kind of on the bottom just to get anything on the bottom and then I go to the right because on the right here we have this staircase which goes up and if we go around here not only do we get more of these guys but we've also got an ammo cache right here and that refills my mask. Have fun killing all the zombies with your tier 3 pack a punched weapon it's really good. You can see on the left hand side of the screen we've got a counter for how many sits we have and then I just try to circle around the mall and use death perception and my eyes as best as I can to get all these cysts. It's really not that big of a deal. It's really not that hard. And on the other side of the mall, the left side here, there's also a little ammo cache here that I like to use. I'm going to come up here, except I see the last one right there. This should be really easy to do. Very good. Now you can have fun killing all the other zombies here that are left over. Now, if you're paying attention to the story, Fletcher, the bad guy, was in there. We're pairing up. We're working together to get out of here. He's just got to make his way out of here now. Sometimes he takes a while, though. And uh, they actually didn't spawn. They actually weren't moving I had to go in there and go find them and then they despawn and then spawn back out here so yikes <laughs> if he takes forever to go in there just go walk around the mall kill the zombies out he's in one of those side shops in there that you can't access and as you're in here like I said before really get used to the geometry really get used to where things are going to be placed because this is also the area where the dark ether contracts are going to be I've seen a lot of people prefer using the scorcher here because of how wide open this place is all right this is the final boss arena here this little stadium area now we've got another 
another ammo cache right there. We've got tons of zombies right here, but there's a very important thing you need to do first. You're going to notice these crystals over here, these rocks. You're going to want to interact with that one from this entrance way. We're going to go over here to the right or left, whichever way you're looking. There's another rock right here, and you can do this at any point in time. You can activate the PND first if you want, get things going. But the third and final rock that you're going to need to activate is right up here in this little area, and that is going to start the 115 Easter egg song. You don't actually have to complete that if you don't want to. It's just really fun. 115, the song, was released 14 years ago. That's crazy to think about. I guess I should mention, this is just a big Outlast contract. You just want to stay. There's like kind of a circle in here. You can see a little circle around the stadium. You just want to stay inside of it. With a tier 3 pack-a-punch weapon and all of these guys kind of distracting the zombies, it really shouldn't be that difficult. Always try to stay on the move, taking care of those boss zombies, always weaving in and out of things. There should be a lot of armor on the ground from these guys. This is actually a pretty good um, camel grinding spot if you're looking for disciples and manglers and everything. There we go. Look at that. All right. Here is the portal. We're going to get out of here. Except, oh wait, we're actually not. Fletcher is leaving and we're not. And there's some Ethereum that he's used to weaponize these guys against us. Not only that, but we've got another boss on our hands here. So a legendary tool is going to get this guy a lot sooner, but he's really not that bad. You just really got to aim for his face. I like to use my decoys as much as possible, try to get up here, and he does electrocute you like the Mimic did earlier, but really take advantage of those headshots. Use your sliding methods that I taught you in that previous Tier 3 game. Make sure you're plating up, doing all the things. Oh boy, Mimic, you can always use this ammo refresh right here, and always try to go by Ravenoff. He will get distracted by Ravenoff, and that way you can get a lot more shots on target. Use your decoys to get the other zombies away from you really go in for those headshots. You can see a purple tier three pack of punch. We're doing a lot of good work here. And this P90 having 400 rounds is great. And there we go. We got him. So he's going to spawn in a reward rift where we're going to get this item. And I got really lucky with this VR 11 case. That's really good. But instead of X filling, we actually have more things to do in this world, which personally I really like. So if we make our way behind the stadium back here, we're going to have this obelisk. We're going to want to activate this C just like we did in season one and now we are going to want to get headshots headshots only are going to charge up this obelisk let's see how many it takes oh that didn't take many at all but that is going to give us a reward rift for this perforated target now we are closer to this guy over here so let's go over here this is my first time doing this too we've got 12 minutes left so it really shouldn't be that big of a deal we can go over here to the boat that we spawned next to and then somehow we have to get on the boat can I jump up there? No. How does one get on the boat? All right. So I jump from this little dig site up to here, and then we can use this cargo truck right here. Jump on up. I'm sure there's a better way. I've seen people do it multiple different ways. I'm sure I'm just missing something. But on this boat is another obelisk or the seal that we're going to use our fists on. It spawns in an insta kill, and we're going to need to get melee kills here. So wait for this insta kill. Wait for some zombies to spawn in. We're going to get it, and then we're going to punch, punch, punch. Oh boy, let's get some, uh, let's get that Casimir maybe, eh? I don't think it takes that many melees. Yep, that was one insta-kill. That was 15 seconds, that's all it took. And now we have these gloves. And now we need to go over here somewhere in the bottom right corner of the map. Now, this is that ammo cache I showed you earlier as we were coming down the ACV over here, just on the right-hand side. If you've played DMZ before or Warzone map, you will recognize this from Almazra. But it's going to be in this fog. This fog was actually water in that Almazra map. And you're looking for another obelisk. I'm going to try to see if I can't see. So here's a thing with the big crystal right there. Let's try to go in here, see if we can't get some relative positioning from this. But this fog looks really, really cool, doesn't it? I mean, it's really hard to see, but it's pretty neat. All right, so it was a little bit left of that big crystal over there. That's about where we came from, a little bit left here. We are going to activate this, and this is going to be a little bit different because we're going to need to look at the Ring of Fire down here. And uh, I already have Napalm Burst, which is good because this is ammo mod dependent. Because this is a fire ring, we're going to need to use Napalm Burst here. I don't know how many it takes, but it should change here once I get enough Napalm Bursts. Oh, and it changed to this blue, so it's probably going to be Cryo Freeze. I just need to maybe throw a little thing here so I can go up to this thing and acquire Cryo Freeze. You see these little two 
tombs here. We can acquire uh, our different ammo mods from this and then kill all the things. Collect some more souls before it changes again. We've got Ravenov helping us out. All right, so it's changing to purple, which is going to be Deadwire. So we need to go up to here. That's Napalm Burst. What is this? That's Deadwire. Okay, there's a lot of zombies here. Let's put another one of these down. We're going to do Deadwire. Oh, there's so much loot on the ground. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go down. A little chaotic. Don't be afraid to use uh, all your things. Maybe I should use that Casimir. But I've got Deadwire on. We're doing this. This is a lot harder than the other ones. All right, we've We've got this uh, green one, which is going to be Brain Rot, I believe. And we've got Brain Rot. From all of the other videos I've seen, that looks like the same order. And there we go. We got it all done. And we've got the pristine mirror. This atmosphere is really cool. And from this pedestal, I'm actually going to go straight over here. So that might help you with your uh, navigational skills here. All right, if we go straight to the police station, which is over here. Yeah, it's a little bit in between like the last or second to last uh, staircase right there. So right there, that's your lineup right there if you're having trouble finding that. And now all we need to do is exfil. Get out of here. And we still have six minutes to spare. And apparently the textures are having trouble loading in. Hey, I found the Pack-A-Punch machine here though. That's pretty good to know. So at the back end of the mall right here, that's where the Pack-A-Punch is. In fact, you could kind of faintly make out where things are. Look at that. You can see Pack-A-Punch right there. That's cool. Just like the other Dark Aether, the circle gets progressively slower as the timer starts running out but really you have plenty of time so i would not worry at all make sure you got all of your items in here we got the drum we've got the three pieces we are all set ready to go for the next game in this second game we're gonna need to take all of these items that we just got and upgrade them as well as complete some more contracts get some more points you know rank ourselves back up but i've got a legendary ether tool and a triple pack a bunch crystal it's a little overkill but i want to be really efficient this game now like the seal we were just doing in the dark ether these steps can be done in any order as well all right so for this first piece you're gonna want to be in this area of the map in this top right corner here and you're gonna want to go up to this right here and you're gonna offer this relic and you're gonna notice a special zombie with a special effect on it and that's just like we did before we're looking for the special effect um, in here and we're going to need to kill him with it. So it looks like that one is cryo freeze. So we need to get up here and get cryo freeze. There's brain rot, napalm burst. And then on this side, there's cryo freeze right there. I don't know if this is timed. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? So here's cryo freeze. Where's that zombie at? It's right there. Perfect. And oh, just like that, we're done. We have the mirror. That was really easy. Interesting little lore there. Apparently Fletcher, the bad guy, first saw this entity through that mirror, which is interesting because there was a similar relic type thing in Shinonuma and the Archon. Remember Vanguard? All right, this is the next area we're gonna need to put another relic in the bottom right side of the map here. We're gonna need to go to the firing range and we're gonna put the uh, other relic right here. And I believe these things will spawn in all around the map that we're going to need to shoot. So there's one behind here. That's always really tricky. Ooh, there's a nuke that helps. That's cool. All right. So there's one over there there got one right there there just shooting all of them there's one back behind there once again i don't know if this is timed or not but it doesn't seem all too difficult here oh there's one zombie now i believe with the zombie we've got a headshot it and then look at that that's upgraded that was really easy i know a lot of times when you watch a youtube video on this type of stuff it seems really complicated and confusing and you have to remember all of these different steps but i'm telling you once you do it in game it's really easy and could you imagine this it's even fun next stop is going to be right next door to where we just were in this boxing ring right here in the very bottom half of the map right here all right so you're gonna come in here and then i believe you need to go up here and then you can place the relic here and then i think you're gonna need to melee these things a couple times yeah melee that that's gonna spawn a zombie that we're going to need to get into a boxing match with right here, which is pretty cool. I like that. And then just like that, we have the last thing upgraded. Look at that. That took 10 minutes and we have everything we need. Very good. And so now all that's left is to grind out some contracts, get some points, get all geared up. I think I'm going to get some Casimirs as much as I can. And we're actually going to go into the Dark Aether this game. All right, so we got all of the perks and I just bought my last Casimir that I want. I actually looted quite a bit of these. I think that was, well, actually, that's the only one I bought. I actually looted all four of those and then I bought one more just to be sure. I think we're ready 
to go in the dark ether. But like this lobby is not looting these chests, so I am having a heyday in here. So this dark ether portal is gonna be at the giant tornado right here. You can't miss it. You have to climb all the way up this huge mountain. And not gonna lie, the atmosphere is pretty cool. So there's gonna be pedestals around here that we need to look for, just like this one. And we're gonna look at the icon. That's the mirror icon. So we'll put that in there. Going around here, it looks like there's another one. This is the uh, drum icon. Another one right here going this way. It's the boxing gloves. And then I think I heard it's all the way over here, kind of on the other side. Yeah, it is kind of all by itself over here. We have got the pristine, pristine target right there. And now that, be careful, because that is going to spawn in the Dark Aether portal. And from this point forward, I believe it is permanently unlocked, whether or not you beat this boss right here or not. But if that's wrong, let me know. Seems like it's not fully loaded in, but uh, we've got this mimic that we need to take care of right away. And it looks like a tier three pack-a-punch gun is gonna be just fine for that. Oh, it's an electric, uh, electric mimic, just like in the Axe Story mission. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little thing. But just like the Axe Story mission, it's not that big of a deal. And it will drop a sigil. And now, just like the other Dark Ether portal, mine looks a little crooked, doesn't it? It looks a little crooked, but usually it doesn't look like that. We can spend our sigil and go to the Dark Ether. We're again have to accept it on our tack map here, and then we are good to go. Now, I believe there is a bug. In in the game when we go to the dark ether we actually lose a containment level tier i really hope they fix that but anyway these contracts are going to be a little bit more spread out than they are in the other dark ether so the first one is going to be up in here if you go behind where you spawn you can hear the bunny rabbit and oh you can see it with the uh, death perception that's nice this is oh a mega abomination great now it is not always a mega abomination but it is this time which i think is perfect for a walkthrough because that is like the most difficult difficult one. But this HVT is actually going to be found in this storm right here, in this fog, which I think is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get close to it, and then I'm going to throw a juggernaut, and I'm going to protect myself with this, uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this uh, energy mine here. Oh my goodness, oh, where's this juggernaut? Where's this juggernaut? There it is. Okay, let's put on the juggernaut. Let's get it. And then juggernaut, let's kill this mega abomination. I can't see anything. They're going to shred my armor. That's okay, though. Let's kill these guys while we're at it. Let's kill this guy. Show me that mouth. Show it to me. Show it to me. There you go. And we're almost done. This is always so thrilling. This is going to be a lot easier when it's just any mimic or mangler or something. Try to use up this jug to kill all the surrounding stuff and be ready to put on your armor right away. Whoo, that was thrilling. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. And then I still hear a mangler. We got some more points, which is good. And try to look at this reward rift. I've got plenty of space in here. Ooh, epic ether tool. I like that. And we've got the blood burner keys, epic ether tool, and a self revive. Nice. So the real secret to this, oh, I do not want that. I want this. The real secret secret to this dark ether and the other dark ether to be honest is just preparation so i went directly uh this way this direction the the fog is over there i went directly kind of north i guess is it north no it's it's east okay but there is an infested stronghold right there i wonder if we're gonna have some more keys to figure out here but the next bunny is gonna be found in this building right here all the way at the top this is why a lot of people like bringing the scorcher in on this one because traversing the map takes a long time this time around but right up top here here we have this guy but oh and this one is an easy outlast oh my goodness okay ho 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 you can't parachute with the bunny all right that's good to know there seems to be a lot of zombies here we're gonna hit this refresh to refresh our ammo and that's an upside down crystal that's a huge upside down crystal my goodness all right there's a lot of zombies following me so i'm gonna burn one of my casimirs right now there we go we're gonna use this pnd and get this thing going now i've heard this one is really easy so we'll see just how easy it is it looks like there's a lot of zombies here though another disciple i'm gonna use this energy mine here another Another disciple, my goodness, that's crazy. I'm gonna throw a Casimir. This does feel like kind of like a traditional zombie type map where you're just holding out or you're training so that's pretty fun try training around here this is where you can practice your training skills got a mangler here gonna do another energy mine very good this one's not that bad this one's pretty good it does feel a little more spacious than the uh than the other one but also kind of not in in the same way though and that should be it oh boy who's hitting me why <laughs> 
go away. <laughs> All right, that should be good. What else have we gotten? We got a legendary tool. Nothing else, though. Some mags of holding would be great. All right, well, the last bunny is going to be found at the top of the mall, which might take us a little bit to get up there because I don't quite remember if there's a ladder outside or not. It almost looks like it's an infested stronghold again, just like the story mission. All right, I see a little ladder up here. I wonder if I can get up to this and go up here. And then if we go up there, oh, yeah, this parking garage might be the, the way to go. Once we get more comfortable with this, we'll get like a good route going, obviously. But this is going to bring us to the rooftop, I believe. This little mini bridge here. Oh, there's there's a regular can right there. That's not a perk can. But then we've got to get up there now. So let's... Oh, this is like an infested stronghold. Cool. How do we get up there, though? Oh, uh, maybe through here. Maybe this back end here. There we go. Yep, this back end. We go straight up here and up again. And we've got this bunny. And I believe we're going to need to go this way for the ether extractors. Now, this is interesting. We're a lot further away than we were in the other dark ether but luckily we're up tall so we can just kind of parachute down and then ooh, we've got like ones right here this is perfect we throw a little casimir right here oh that's good and then we can get it through the thing right here maybe can we get it through the thing thank you this should be good awesome let's move away from that kind of just go up the street here this feels a little bit wider than the previous ether extractors which is really good because the previous e ether extractors being on top of the roof was pretty rough hello can this like oh my goodness we're gonna go down I betcha. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Armor, armor, armor. We got it. We got it. And then we're going to throw another one of these guys. This is pretty easy. Look at that. And then we can get this through here. Wait, who's hitting me while a thing's going on? What the heck? A thing's going on. Oh, no, please don't kill me. Oh, okay. All right. That was okay. Well, apart from the uh, muffed landing there, we did uh, pretty good. Do I have any other Casimirs? Oh, I got one more. I'm going to use a monkey, though. There's so many zombies in here. All right. While the monkey's out, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one of these guys here. Look in here. Mags of Helding. Elder Sigil. Perfect. We got lots of good stuff here. And now we need to get out of here. Now, this might take us a little bit here. So I see the boat over here. We are going to need to go, I believe, over here. Side note, I heard that they buffed how many zombies are in the dark ether and uh i don't know if that's true or not but there's definitely a lot more zombies in here than there is during the axe story mission which i think is great honestly this one felt really balanced <gasps> can you activate 115 again oh you know we're going to rock number two i really hope there's more secrets like keys like there were in the other story or in the other dark ether that'd be really cool and rock number three so just to the right of the stadium is this little hill right here and if we climb all the way on top of this hill you could see the dark ether portal right there i'm gonna throw my last casimir and we're gonna have to cut this amazing music short because we have completed the dark ether we just need to use this and extract if you want to return to the dark ether and more importantly if you want to get the schematics for the blood burner keys the mags of holding and the vr11 then you're going to need to use that new dark ether portal with an elder sigil there is no difference between the season one elder sigil and the season two elder sigil they are both completely compatible with both dark ether portals and same thing with regular sigils as well as you saw taking on the dark ether was made even easier because of this amazing weapon setup. And if you want to learn how I build every single weapon here in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, be sure to check out this video and stay beautiful.